everybody and welcome back to our channel. Uh, we just dropped our kiddos off at Baca and Dita's house and we're going to take you on a little adventure through Advent. Uh, yesterday was the official opening of Advent here in Zagreb. So we are going to go enjoy together on a little mini date. <laughs> I would say that uh, we will check a couple of uh, like several locations in the town and uh, show you what uh, Zagreb can uh, offer you this year. It's actually been declared the best advent in Europe for I mean years in a row. We're excited to show you. We always come at least once a year and have a little mini date through advent usually once a year. See what's around and we'll also show you everything that there is to eat because there's lots of yummy specialties and you'll see it all in just a moment. So we parked kind of nearby dressed up warm. Make sure you're dressed up warmly because it's chilly here in Zagreb but the spirit of Advent will keep you warm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so here we've arrived at one of the main attractions of Advent, which is the ice park behind us. I think that's actually why Zagreb became one of the best Advents, was because they created this beautiful ice park that has these like skating paths all through. It's beautiful, it's so fun, it has such a nice atmosphere. It's definitely a highlight of Advent. It's definitely a highlight uh, for kids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because kids uh, like to skate and uh, it's really fun doing it during the day too. Absolutely. Because it's open during the day. You can rent skates here, they're not too expensive. Yeah, definitely make a day of it. So, uh, Check it out, how yeah. it looks this year. Behind us is the main train station, just to give you an idea of exactly the location where we are. And here, just in front of us, is Tomislav, it's Tomislav, King Tomislav Square. Is this not just the most beautiful little skating rink you've ever seen? Just with all the pathways going all up and around. All you need is love. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is love. But super, super pretty and we love this place. I already smell mulled wine and fritolice and all the flavors of Advent as we're walking just in this first little part. So I'm very excited to get into some food and drink here. So that was a little glimpse of the ice park. They're clearing the ice now, they're cleaning it off, so we're not gonna go skating at the moment. So we're gonna first head over now to the Esplanade Hotel. It's also right in front of the train station, right across from the ice park. And it has something set up also for Advent. It's called Fooling Around. And it's basically just a lot of different food stands and drink stands and Let's it's, check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> a lot of different things to try there, I'm sure. Maybe different kind of music. Yeah. Basically, Advent here is like a whole bunch of little different locations all around the city. Each one has something different to offer. Yeah, I think it's seven or eight uh, different locations. So, yeah. yeah. And a pretty like a walking distance. So Everything is pretty easy yeah. to get to, yeah, yeah by foot. Yeah. And also the tram if you don't feel like walking. So yeah. it's all connected. And here's the Esplanade just ahead of us. Also a beautiful hotel right here in the center of Zagreb and that's where this next location is set up. It's definitely not as busy in this section right now but it's also Sunday night. If anything it'll just be quicker to get food or drinks so still a beautiful spot. Yeah but I see uh, lots of really good places for eat. Yeah lots of options. Um, yeah with creation like chefs I think would be like a foodie place. Good foodie place yeah. yeah. Cool. So officially we started with uh, our advent because we order uh, mold wine and the price is 340 for a one. I won't comment the price but you can uh, compare the prices from last year or year before. Cheers. Advent has begun. <laughs> oh, this thing oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. surprise <laughs> you. <laughs> I love mold wine. It's like so delicious. It's really not that hard to make but for some reason I mean we only have it at advent so just cooked wine, some cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. It's definitely one signature taste of Advent though, that's for sure. Also, just to note, you can get red or white mulled wine. We prefer the red, but the white is also good. Just your preference, I guess, rather white, but we recommend the red. But what's also really great is they've blocked off all of the traffic here, except for trams. So it really makes it nice and easy. It's busy on the sidewalk, so you can kind of pour out onto the street because there aren't any cars. So from Tomislavac down there, uh, by the train station all the way up to 
Tregbana Yosefa Yelachicha, which is the main square here in Zagreb. That's kind of where the main events happen of Advent, just to make room for Advent and let everyone enjoy a little more safely. Here we are at our next location called Poliranya, and that's at Strosmeyer Square. It's just up from Tomislava to where the ice park is. So we're gonna see maybe to find something to eat here because our stomachs are getting a little rumbly. Uh, and I think they'll have a lot of good stuff to eat here too. So let's go check that out. So here we are in Poliranya now. It is so busy, but there are so many different food stands all around that we can try. But definitely a lot busier than over at Pooling Around where the Esplanade is. I think a lot of people think that maybe pulling around where the Esplanade is is just for people of the hotel. So maybe that's why it's not as busy. But down here it's packed. It's Sunday night and this is packed. There are like really long lines for everything. But everything smells so delicious because it's just one food stand after another after another and mulled wine and everything else in between. We're gonna see if we can try to get something to eat here if the lines aren't too too long before moving on to our next destination. But the atmosphere here is really fun, alive, just very festive and it's super fun to come down here and just feel it all. So we found where we're gonna get some sausage and it's at the Sausage Institute by Mate Jankovic. It's the most popular stand here by far. There's long lines longer than anywhere else, but it's a very uh, well-known place to get sausages and he's very well known for that. So we thought we'd try the best. Okay. Debrzinka, here we go. That's really delicious. Just what I needed right now. Sausages and mulled wine are a big staple for Advent, I would say, would you? It's really good. The toppings really make it delicious too. How is it? It's really good. I would say that uh, it's more meaty than the usual one. There's not so much like fat chunks inside. It's definitely a good quality of sausage. It's honestly so delicious. Like it's one of the best sausages I've had through Advent, I would say. That's really, really good. Okay, so we just finished at Fuliranya and immediately after Fuliranya, you'll come to Zrinjevets Park. And here is also always decorated in beautiful lights with all the trees and it's just always kind of this atmosphere here it's classical in the middle there's like a little gazebo where sometimes people play music or dance and it's just a beautiful little spot here in the middle of the city any time of year but especially now at advent and here's where we normally come and get fritulice so this is our next stop and hopefully our fritulice stop as well so it's kind of like at every stop we find something else to eat or drink it's just what advent is all about okay so we're now at a new location Matosheve Machke and this is actually a new pedestrian zone in Zagreb this used to be a street with cars and recently they've turned it into a pedestrian zone and so this is now a new advent location it's never really been here before my mouth is really frozen so I feel like I'm having trouble talking <laughs> but we are excited to go check this out because we've never been here to advent before in this section so it's all new I think it look, uh, look artsy and funky it does look artsy and funky that's a good description yeah it's very colorful and I think it'll be just a different kind of feel so. I just wanted to point out this new location for Advent has a program and there's so many different things going on and it shows you for each date what they have. There's lots of music and just lots of different things and for kids so yeah it looks really cool so far. It looks very promising as a new Advent location so very cool. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. In a Hot gin, first time trying. So at this stop we got Fritulice instead of in Zrinjevac because in Zrinjevac it was like a 15-20 minute wait so we said okay let's go see at the next location but these look extra delicious. It's a nice big portion. These are a classic. I mean really when you think of Advent you think of Fritulice with either Nutella or powdered sugar or whatever you want. They have gourmet ones where you can get a thousand different things on them but I like the classic with powdered sugar. It's delicious. We also got hot gin. I've seen it being offered before, but I've never actually tried it. So, did you try it yet? It's good. Is it good? Yeah. That is really good. What else do they put in it? It's like pear flavored or something. It's delicious. It's really good. Nice and hot and steamy. <laughs> it was nice to see with the fritulice. Especially when you're freezing, huh? Mm. These are really fluffy and warm inside. Mm. I don't know if you can see, but that's super 
fluffy. Obviously, they're not sitting here at all because there's lines everywhere to get them. But sometimes if like they sit around for a little bit, you know, they get a bit harder. These are so fresh and fluffy and delicious. You can just see like how nice that is and all the steam coming off. Just in case you guys don't know, fritulites are like little fried donuts or like little donut holes, I guess you can call them. But if you've watched any of our videos before, you've probably seen them in our last video we were making them. We have a whole other video all about fritulites. So if you have watched our channel before, you might already know what fritulites are. What does it taste like to you? I don't know. Something like fruity with it? Yeah, or... It's fruity, yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Basically, all we do at Advent is eat and drink. Our experience of Advent is just trying everything. I have to say also that this new addition to Advent is really nice. It's really nicely set up. It's a very cozy atmosphere, but it's not super jam-packed like other parts are. There's plenty of room for walking. On one side, there are the little houses that sell, you know, food, whatever, drink. There aren't crazy lines like there are in other places. Maybe not everybody knows about this location yet, but I think it's a really great addition to Advent. Thumbs up. I think uh, it will be really popular actually now uh, for uh, Advent when people are uh, discovering. It's new and it's kind of cool. It has a good vibe definitely. So we're walking towards our next location now and also just to note this year there isn't Advent up in the upper town. There usually is but I guess they're doing some construction up there so unfortunately it's not up there this yeah. year. It's usually really cool up there though. Uh, I think that, that that is big minus this year. Uh, yeah. This year. Uh, yeah. What we can do. Nothing. Next year maybe it'll be back. <laughs> it was really cool especially on the, uh, that platform there. Really pretty. They always really did it nicely. Yeah. But now we're walking to our next location. So our next location is... Advent to Prolazu, which is near Hotel Jägerhorn. Let's go. So cold we don't have gloves on or mitts because we've been using, you know, camera and our phone and everything. So our hands are frozen. <laughs> A little thawing out. What do you think about Advent in, in Prolazu? So far I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very warm. It's actually very, very cute though. I haven't ever been here either, I think, but it's super cute. It's very quiet. It has a very kind of quiet, quaint atmosphere. Really nicely decorated. I'd say the nicest decorated so far. It's just very elegant and almost feels, I don't know, luxurious in here. It's very beautiful. And I give this one two thumbs up also. We haven't tried anything to eat or drink yet here, so I don't know if we will. But so far, based on appearance, it's beautiful here. It kind of feels like you're in some, I don't know, what would you say? Like some home or something, I don't know. That was a little peek of Advent Uprolazu. And now we're walking towards the main square. It couldn't be very nicely decorated, I think. I remember way back in 2007, 8. Seven. Yeah, it was a big tent of the uh, square. That was the only location where you have an Advent. That, that was, was like, Advent, that yeah. Was the starting point. <laughs> it covered the entire lot. square. Yeah. <laughs> Our but first advent together. Yeah, I think uh, in later years they moved advent from the main square more after the pandemic time. They so. kind of spread everything out a lot yeah. more. But I think it's nice that they have it spread out in different parts of the city. So here we're going to show you, of course, main square. Okay, let's see the main square. So now we are down in the square. This is called Bashanash, and this is kind of what they have to offer for advent here in the main square. They always decorate the fountain really nicely with the advent candles. And here behind me are just more food stands, as always, that go all throughout the city. You can count on lots of food, <laughs> lots of things to eat and drink, and again, this great atmosphere. It's all wonderful, so. It's pretty busy for Sunday. Yeah, it is pretty busy for a Sunday night, I'd say. I think it's the opening weekend of Advent, so everyone's very excited and was waiting for this, so. It was a good night to come here, I think. Not extremely busy, but enough people that are out celebrating. Okay, so that was the main square nicely decorated. I have to say I do miss the times when it was just one huge tent on the main square. That might have been my favorite time in Advent but this is also very nice just different kind of style. Our last stop before heading home is the European Square which is just off the main square and we are gonna try one more thing there. It is called Gernknedl and it's like a dough ball with I believe jam inside and creamy kind of poppy seed sauce on top. It's very like ooey gooey delicious. That's the last tasted advent that we'll show you on this video. So we hope you like Erobski Turk and that's it. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's uh go. -huh. So here is the inside with some jam and some cream. Let's give this a try. It's very um, ooey gooey and it looks delicious and it's hot and it's steamy. How is it? Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's really good. The creamy sauce is like a more liquidy custard, I guess. I mean, this is like why we come to Advent, just to try all the food. Uh -uh. 
that was it. We hope you enjoyed our walk through Advent, our taste of Advent, <laughs> and you got a little taste of everything that Zagreb has to offer you this season. So if you're able to make it to Zagreb Advent, we hope you enjoy. Um, if not, then... And dress, dress warmly because we really are frozen now. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> our hands were barely working to like cut that. Have a good night. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.